you know, people are, they want to start Amazon. They have so many misconceptions, like Amazon is full and stuff like that. And, okay, let's show these people, right? Okay, because we have these, all these people around us in our country who wants to start Amazon. And imagine, like, you know, <clears throat> success mindset, what success mindset does? Success mindset attracts and combines, you know, failure mindset separates. So if we can teach anyone to be like, find the good products, start this stuff, then come on. Maybe some of you will succeed so greatly that we can start learning from each other. So that's the case. If we surround each other, we learn together, we share it to each other, the way everybody wins. So that's the whole goal. And that's what I said, that's success mindset. So hopefully you have that. <laughs>
you know, he already said that before he started, you know, and it happened, you know, that's because he made a decision. It's either you do it or not, it's up to you. You know, the market is there, the opportunity is there, the learning is there, teachers are there, everything's there, you know, and that's, you know, guys, by the way, it's, it's, it's either Amazon or whatever, it's the same thing. You need the same mindset. So next one. Yes, and we learned yesterday that I wasted 42 hours last week doing yeah. minor, I mean, me, pretty much, I mean, it's wasted because it's stuff like, okay, what's in some Netflix or TV series and just doing chatting mm. that it is non-business related. So, and geez, I mean, it's 42 hours. It means like it's 2000 hours per year. So, I mean, mm. could I actually use that <laughs> <laughs> time more wisely? And a week, so people, 42 hours a week. So, you imagine that? so many people say that, yeah, I mean, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for this. But uh, it's oh, not yeah. really a choice of time. It's about the prioritization. So, I mean, could yeah. I prioritize those 42 hours <clears throat> per week differently? I mean, that's a whole work week. <laughs> exactly. And, and if then, someone, someone is saying to you that I don't have time, then basically it means that I have different priorities. It just means that it's not my, uh, it's not a priority for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I wasted like $200 last week. It's basically based like, a, I'm actually, I think I'm wasting even more. Uh, if I'm just not counting. <laughs> but it's like, like a, <laughs> but if you start counting money, you will save 20 to 25% instantly. And uh, but counting means that you count where you're spending. That's it. You know, if you have money travel, just like write down where you spend and you want to save 20%. You see that in one month you said save 20%, no problem. And there's a new way to approach selling on Amazon. And uh, of course, you know, there's no need to use a lot of time, a lot of resources. We can do it faster. And the case of being faster in also reinforcing your belief. <coughs> So would you like to learn more? Yes, Anyone? and uh, Glenn is saying that she already went yesterday to the, or today to the city center in Tallinn for looking for different products. And great, I mean, that's good, Glenn. I mean, to do take action, take immediate action on on these things that you, what you're going to be learning during these five days. That's the best that's, thing you can do. Yeah, and by the way, guys, you know, honestly, and I, I can, I can, I spoke with probably hundreds of different Amazon sellers who are successful. Every single one of them said that I didn't know that that product will take off. Tony can confirm that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I had so many ideas, but this thing took off that I didn't even I, I believe it that will take off. <laughs> and it's actually one of our one of the successful products that we are still selling today. I mean. It wasn't supposed to take off like that. <laughs> it was a gift item that we were planning to give uh, to our like existing customer. That hey, here's a gift item for you. Give but, us a review. <laughs> it was basically a bribe. I mean, getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm bribing our like existing. And next thing customers. you know, we did like two hundred to four hundred thousand per month with this product. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, times change. Products go up and down. If you don't develop them. You know, no matter what you release, in five years, you have to develop it. You have to make it better. That's one lesson I'm going to talk about tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, and I, I just want to mention that this is what some of the, like, the big corporates do as well. Like, for example, a company like 3M, the company that developed the sticky notes. I mean, it's actually one of the most innovative companies in the world. And they have this mantra that what, I mean, the product that works today will not work tomorrow. So mm. they have these expectations that, okay, I mean, there is no uh, tomorrow for the products that we currently have. So we constantly need to innovate and come up with like uh, better, pro like better mm. products. And so let's go guys. Are you ready? Type yes in the chat box. If you're ready, type just yes, then we will go after some yeses. <laughs> if you're ready, right, right go. <laughs> <laughs> or go or yes go, or go, whatever. Go. <laughs> All oh, right. Okay, let's start. So the day, what's the day today? Day number two, the Ferrari method. <clears throat> you know, guys, if I knew that only four years ago, holy moly. I wish someone could have told me that. <laughs> and it took us so much, oh, so much pain, oh my God. <laughs> so much pain to, to get to that. So anyway, so 
one question people have like always like have i like uh, i have no product or even idea how to start you know and um and honestly guys you know the truth is that uh, that's not a problem you know you don't need the product idea to start because the water product idea is not uh it's not it's, it's created it's not found you cannot find water viral product idea and that's the beautiful part of it because the ferrari method basically is and this is something we realized <laughs> some some time ago and then i was like, like my brain just exploded like holy moly why have i not learned that before you know let me ask you a question if you said searching products to sell on amazon like um, are you searching the products where you can are you searching only for products that you can drive fast? Or are you searching the roads, the keywords, right? Markets where you can drive fast. Which one is more important for you, right? Because if the product is a car and a keyword is a market, right? A road, right? The wider the road, the bigger the search, the bigger the demand, right? If the, if the keyword is a road, the bigger the better, then why was what's the point building like a great product ferrari and sit in a traffic jam right why would you need amazing product and then sit there amongst ten thousand people there in a line nowhere <laughs> you know there's so much options you know <laughs> nobody will see you even if you have a better best product right you know you don't even get ads on the first page right and so why would you want to sit here you know with your great amazing product took you nine months to develop like five thousand dollars to cost like why would you want that right and by the way guys again lots of different previous courses everybody are teaching that that's what we learned but that's what actually worked last maybe maybe like last six years until 2020 when you when you were able to manipulate the ranking system so easily that you can get even from this traffic channel to the first one but now it is none done nada this ain't working anymore you don't find great product you find what a great market where you doesn't need to have a best product you can drive fast you know you can have an old ferrari <laughs> you can have like ferrari for years years 1989 no problem driving fast no need to develop no need to get become amazing just making money right because you found the great market first right and that's let me give you another example okay <clears throat> because it's maybe it's difficult to understand but so i've made another example for you guys that this is really cool so <clears throat> if seed is a product okay <laughs> Please, please excuse me. I just can't stop myself. Okay, so if seed is a product, right? And a soil is a market, okay? Then why would you want to plant seed in a rainforest? Hmm? Because that's what's been teaching to us all the time. Find the product idea, find the product idea, find the product idea, find the product idea, find the product to sell, find the products to sell. Everybody is obsessed about the products, right? What we need to obsess about is our market because rainforest looks like that. Look at this. Look how many like uh, look how many people are over thousand results of in searches, and you know this is a saturated market. And by the way, this is a uh, men's beard kit. Okay, <laughs> that's men's beard kit, and this is what you can you can find <laughs> you can find on Amazon if you send you know. If you if you want to know what the saturated rainforest looks like, right? This is a competitive. You cannot you cannot stand out. And why the heck would you start selling anything in that place? Why would you care about finding right product if market looks like the rainforest? That's the whole point. Here, okay. So the old way was searching for the product, and the new way is actually searching for the markets. And that's a really cool way because let me explain you how and that if you adapt that way, it is, you know, and everything for, for getting that new market is for free. You know, you don't need to pay anything. You can find new markets, you can develop new products in your spreadsheets and your on your on your 
in your thoughts, in your way, and then ask yourself, does it matter how good your seed or product is if you plant it in this type of areas? Hmm? It doesn't, right? It doesn't matter how much a good product. You can have the best Ferrari in the world, right? Or best seed in the world. If you, <laughs> if you put it on that desert, nothing happens. And if you put that on this high rainforest, well, it's probably dead before it even started, right? So where do you want to put it? In the middle, right? And so the new way is to find markets first, and then test it. And then you're going to build the best product for it. There's no best product. You will create best product based on market information after you've tested it. And, um, and guys, this is like the, when I realized that there was like the most... <laughs> I was like walking in air, <laughs> walking on a rainbow. <laughs> you know, this is so cool. Uh, maybe I'm just like a sales fan. So, <laughs> so finding a good market actually the number one thing. You know, we have uh, for for viral product like uh, we have five things, right? It's actually the number first thing you do because you know, guys, the only reason you want to do first finding good market. Who cares about your profitability, your quality, or your X factor if the market is like a rainforest, right? Nobody cares if you want a better version because there's like ten thousand, maybe twenty thousand like people against you, right? And especially when you're starting out, the good market fit is number one, like by far from everything, okay? And so and why? Actually, I just want to say one thing that like, that's the most, I mean, because all the time people are asking to look at their business, their, their product listing and everything. So a most common issue I see all the time is that they went to the rainforest. So yes, there is high demand, but there's also like high competition and usually like the competition that there is in this rainforest. I mean, they are, they know what they're doing. So it's really police listings and uh, police listings and a good, good, good kind of uh, quality. So that means that there is really no room for us to go into that mm. uh, rainforest. Like why would you go to a rainforest? And even if you have like amazing product, people don't have time to even focus on your listing because there are thousands of variations there. Thousands. There's so much data. This data overwhelming, right? And so imagine if you go, if you start your product, you need to go to page one and you will have 10,000 people going like against you. How much? And then you're starting out, right? <laughs> Holy moly. That's, you know, that's why people fail, right? Imagine if you, if you find a market where you have only 100 people against you. How easy would be that? Huh? They just, oops, you will be there. As long as you did the research and you find the better ideas for the best seller in the first place. So, why market fit is priority number one. So, supply, going against thousands of people of choices is harder than a few hundred, right? And we can learn from the market and figure out what product we can develop, you know? It's not about the product, it's about the market. We can learn what's going on there and make a better version, right? Or we can simply add value. And, uh, and if the market price, by the way, in our framework, one thing we are analyzing is the market price. If the market price is wide, we can make profits. Let me go back to this later. If you can add wrong value on the main image, then the market has no saturation. Right? So remember this beard kit, right? This is rainforest, right? How much you can add value on this place where you have full of stuff on the main image, right? How can you differentiate on that rainforest? Nada, nothing, right? And so we can rank fast if we have only 100 people against us. <laughs> you know, it's just like going from page number three to page number one, making money. <laughs> and you know, you know, we can test these ideas faster because the goal here is not to put 5K on a product idea, it's just to test the product idea first. If you can even, if, if, you, if you're testing idea, by the way, guys, the testing idea is never as good as your, uh, your researched ideal version of your product. The testing idea is always less, but if the less version already goes to the first page, imagine what your better version will do.